U.S. President Joe Biden thanks Qatar's Emir for freeing U.S. citizens from Iran. Doha says it is open to mediating between Ukraine and Russia. The Islamic Organization for Food Security receives a $2 million grant from Qatar. And finally, it's another big sports event for Qatar. Stick around for more. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. U.S. President Joe Biden has thanked Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani for mediating the release of a number of American citizens detained in Iran. The comments were made in a phone call between the two leaders just weeks after the landmark prison swap in Doha. Qatar mediated between Iran and the U.S. as part of a years-long effort that resulted in a deal to free prisoners and unfreeze six billion dollars worth of Iranian assets. On that note, Qatar said it is open to mediating between Ukraine and Russia to bring to an end one of the deadliest current conflicts. Minister of State at Qatar's Foreign Ministry Mohammed bin Abdul Aziz Al Khalifi said mediation between the two European nations is desperately needed to achieve peace and end military action in Ukraine. The war has led to thousands of deaths, a global grain shortage and exacerbated Europe's energy crisis. Now, authorities confirmed a grant of two million dollars to support Islamic Organization for Food Security. The grant has been earmarked to activities designed to achieve sustainable development in agriculture and food security. Security. It was announced at an IOFS meeting at the Sheraton Hotel on Tuesday. And finally, the opener for the 2024 MotoGP season is set to return to Lucille International Circuit. The action will kick off under the floodlights on March 10th, 2024. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.